essay structure. There is no specific guideline for how many paragraphs an essay consists of. Instead, an essay is made up of a number of important parts. The introduction, body paragraphs, and the conclusion. Based on these parts, most essays consist of at least four or five total paragraphs. However, that is a general minimum, not a maximum. The introduction introduces the context of the topic. Why does the topic matter? What relevance might it have to the reader? The introduction is at least one paragraph, but may require multiple paragraphs depending on the complexity and length of the entire essay. It is often best to start the introduction with a hook to grab the reader's attention and focus it on the topic. This might include a quote or a brief description of a situation that epitomizes the key issues being dealt with within the essay. Using descriptive words that appeal to the senses in this hook can help the reader better envision the scene, situation, or moment being described. After the initial hook, it is then helpful to clearly introduce the topic. This includes providing necessary background information on the topic so that the reader clearly understands the key issues being considered. You may also provide some context for this topic. Why is this issue of some importance? Providing context helps the reader see the relevance of the issue and makes clear the purpose of your essay. The thesis statements. The introductory paragraph ends with the thesis statement. This is usually one or two sentences in length, but it could be potentially longer in a longer paper. For papers under five pages in length, a one or two sentence thesis is most appropriate. The thesis indicates the key ideas that the entire essay will seek to explain, support, and ultimately prove. The entire essay is tailored towards supporting your thesis. Nothing should be in your essay that does not directly relate to the thesis. The thesis statement is the most important part of the essay. It must be clearly thought out before you begin writing the essay. An essay without a thesis lacks a focus and therefore would not be useful in college level essay composition. A well-developed de thesis statement is essential to developing a strong, well-written essay. We have a separate lesson within this course on developing thesis statements. This lesson will provide much more detailed discussion on how to develop an effective thesis, including a number of examples. After the introductory portion of the essay, which includes the thesis statements, you will then have multiple body paragraphs. Each body paragraph of the essay revolves around its own key point. This key point should be explained in that paragraph's topic sentence. Each topic sentence should connect back to the ideas mentioned within the thesis statement. This is why it's important to develop your thesis statement and topic sentences before the in-depth writing of an essay. Developing the thesis and topic sentences ahead of time helps ensure a clear aligned structure to these key elements. The body paragraphs may provide background information on the topic, expert views on the topic, and your own original viewpoints on the topic. The key to adding your own ideas is to support them with as much evidence and logical discussion as possible. Where possible, use evidence found through research to support your own ideas. Later in the course, we will discuss how to use and properly credit research information within an essay. Generally, there must be at least three body paragraphs, but there is no maximum. Each paragraph must stay on its own topic. Don't get tied into thinking about the total number of paragraphs altogether. Focus on proper paragraph structure instead. 
Make sure to create a logical order to your body paragraphs. Consider the order of your ideas. Which ideas would be most logical to present first, then second, and so on? Where possible, use transitions to connect the topic of one paragraph to the next. The conclusion. The conclusion should not repeat the thesis statement. Never repeat your thesis statement, as this would be seen as an in indicative of a writing style that's far less advanced than that which is expected at the high school or college levels. It is often necessary to summarize within the conclusion paragraph, but this should be done to simplify the concepts presented, not as repetition. Summary does not repeat the exact wording or phrasing that has been previously used. Instead, it re-explains in new language, bringing together the ideas that have been, discu been discussed throughout the essay. The main goal of the conclusion is to make connections between the ideas that you've brought up throughout your essay. A simple rule on the conclusion is this. Try to do something useful. In addition to some summarization, the conclusion is the best place to help the reader fully see the big picture. In the context of all the information that you've presented throughout the essay, it may now be easier to fully help the reader understand why the topic matters or how it may impact the future.